Yeah, I remember when I started working at GE back in the 80s. The engines all looked the same, shaped like a football. All that sheet metal hid the technology that laid beneath it. But then came along the unducted fan. Born of the energy crisis, this was a new fuel-efficient engine that had exposed fan blades or propellers counter-rotating. What made this possible, though, was carbon fiber technology. The carbon fiber fan blades were lighter and stronger and allowed you to do this unducted fan without titanium fan blades. And it caused a sensation, too, when it flew. It flew across the Atlantic Ocean to England in 1988 on an MD-80 to be displayed at the Farnborough Air Show. The concept was proven, but the market conditions didn't cooperate. Fuel prices went down, the savings evaporated, and the investment in the unducted fan was not justified. Within two years, GE began to build the GE90, the largest commercial jet engine in the world, again incorporating composite fan blades. The composite technology allowed larger bypass ratios, making the engine more fuel efficient with lower emissions. The engine generated 115,000 pounds of thrust, which gave it a Guinness World Record for the highest thrust class commercial engine. That accomplishment was made possible by the unducted fan. The carbon fiber has proven itself in service with an incredibly reliable record. That led to GE's latest engine, the GENX, which powers Boeing's new 787 long-range airplane. The GENX has carbon fiber fan blades like the G90, but it also has a carbon fiber fan case to go with it. And you'll notice that there's fewer fan blades, only 18. 20 years ago, we had twice as many, but the carbon fiber technology is more efficient, allows us to reduce fan blades, and has taken 400 pounds out of the engine. That's almost 1,000 pounds out of the aircraft. And now that funny looking unducted fan back from the 80s that didn't make it onto an airplane is now living again in the GNX. The technologies that were demonstrated then are now proving their worth and proving the investment, bringing all the promise of lower fuel burn and lower emissions to today's modern jetliners.